So while we continue to look for him, saints of God, let us make sure that the garment is as such by the grace of God in a line with the word of the Lord, that we be accounted worthy to go with him when he descend from glory. It's even though many don't believe in the coming of Jesus Christ, many don't even believe in the existence of God, but we do believe. I believe and I not just believe, I know he's coming. Praise God. I know of a sure that Jesus Christ Amen. is coming. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank um, that is for leading on the first first one of our service. We are grateful, Lord, to see everyone in the house tonight. But today we're present. God bless you. We are in a good place. We are doing a good thing. Praise God. We are here to save ourselves from this untoward generation. We are here to prepare our Amen. souls for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, we know that he's coming back, no doubt. We know that we're living in perilous times. We know that we're living in the last days. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We know that we're living in the rapture age. And there can be a sound from heaven at any moment. Blessed be God. To saints of God, respect the what we are going through. Respect what we have or what we don't have. Irrespective of our status in life. Praise God. Let us by the grace of God keep our garment pure. Amen. Keep
keep our minds pure. Um, there are those who will tell you that you cannot live from sin. And you cannot be holy. You must have heard that. Because we are only human. But you need to understand the Bible says the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. The dead in Christ shall rise first. And those who are alive, still breathing and remain. What does remain mean? What does remain means? It means you have to be in a place, a state of readiness. What does readiness suggest? So if it's not possible, how can one be raptured? No sin not going there. So when are you going to get rid of it? When the Lord descend? So are you telling it's not possible to get rid of it? The day you believe it, that, that ridiculous thing, is the day you tell yourself, I'm bound for him. So if you cannot be perfect, if you cannot be holy, if you cannot live from sin, it means then you are telling yourself, or I'm telling, or we are, there is no chance of me making the rapture. Because if no sin can go there, when do we get rid of it? Just think about it. So don't believe everything you hear from the pulpit or from bishops or from anybody. Jesus came to save us from what? So are you telling me Jesus is not able to cleanse us from all many sins? All of us. Why all? Because no sin can be Exactly. So just think about it. Don't allow anyone to tell you it's only the death. It's another doctrine. It's another gospel. Just think about that. Because if he descend right now and sin is in my life, there can be no change. So first we have to believe it and then work towards it. The Bible says leave the principal part of the doctrine, the gospel. Go on to what? What that perfection means. A state where sin no longer reign in the mortal body. It will not happen overnight. But if you don't believe it, it will never happen. Because faith is the substance of what you hope for. If you hope to be holy, have faith, you will get there. If you hope to get rid of every dress of sin in your life, have faith, work towards it, you will get there. Bless it. Doesn't matter what it is. Jesus' blood cleanses from all the sins. What we have, praise God, is just a down payment. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. If I go, I will come again. How many believe that he went? It is recorded in the scripture. The disciples saw him. The cloud received him. The angel said, hey, the same Jesus that is taken now, he will come back just like you see him. Go to Jerusalem. Praise God. So before he was ascended, he said, if I go, I will come again. You can remove the if. Because he went. He will come. And so he tells us the signs that will precede his coming. And signs of the times are appearing in our Christian homes, in our Christian church, in our own personal life. The tempter is rampant. You don't need a second person to tempt you. 
you're attempting your own self. You don't need another person's mind to get your own mind buck around you sometimes. And we have to fight to possess the mind of Christ. But the Bible says, let this mind be in you. Allow the mind of Christ to come in you. Because I, my, my mind is a few can't make it. Because my mind tells me stuff sometimes. Yes. And when I check it out, and your mind might do the same thing too. Sometimes it play tricks on you. Yes. Sometimes your, your eyes told you something that you see that it wasn't really there. And your perception sometimes is so far off. So every day we have to go to the Lord and say, Lord, search me. Lord, you know my heart. Amen. Lord, you know my intention. Lord, I want to make it. Lord, I believe. Help thou my heart believe. Lord, fix me right. I cannot do it on my own. Lord, I'm not strong. I'm weak and I'm insignificant. I'm insufficient. My sufficiency is a V. Oh God, without you, Lord. I can't make it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Sometimes you feel like running, but you just can't. Sometimes we believe that we are making the grade, that we are doing it right. We don't go before the spotless Lamb of Calvary. When you search and find so many things and, and show to you, you say, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the one who serves the hearts and the reins. You are the one who knows. Amen. You are the one who has the eraser to blot out all our transgressions and to cast them in the sea of forgetfulness. Here we are, saints of God. We pray and we fast. And fasting is as such that when we come down, we, 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 are, we are crucifying <coughs> the old man. We are crucifying the flesh. Praise God. We are allowing um, ourselves to decrease so God can increase in us. Get the church. Every day you say, it's not getting no better. Don't expect it to get better. You go over there and you see things on the street. They say, my God, I wonder if I'm dreaming. You want to get out of that nightmare. No, it's not a nightmare. You're live with. You're walking on the street. <laughs> But the Bible said, when you see these things, this, this, these things, we could not even perceive the thing that we are seeing now. That it would be including in when you see these things. Look up. Because our redemption. Draw it nigh. But God of a reserve, God reserve wrath and a reserve a place of tranquil rest for those who serve him. God bless the saints of God Jesus and to know that he know me Amen. I've got a life to hope. Amen. What about you? Amen. Church one of these days we need to be in the celestial realm because something going to happen on this planet. Believe you me something is going to happen. You don't know human beings should not be on this planet earth. When the wrath of God is poured out upon the land. Amen. When the 2021 vial, the bowl, all this 21 wrath of God is poured out on the sun, on the water. No human being should not be here. Can you imagine you have to take what you're, what you're not able to take? Sometimes people say, I can't take this no more. Well, yet they have to take it. Lord Jesus. The only reason why men will be able to take some things toward the end is because God gave them an immortal body. But no human being should be punished as if they are spirits. Amen. Angels are spirits. Devil is spirit. That's why hell was made for them. They can stay in fire and burn and suffer and not die. No human being should not go through that. But men chose. Yes, amen. The Bible says hell extends. Yes, and this is what it is. 
We say, what are the saints of God? Let us, by the grace of God, even though we are Christians, let us repent. Amen. And repent. And repent. And repent. Jesus. And every day you get up. Repent. Even if you don't know you do anything, repent before God. God bless you. Divided, we have no choice but to fall. The Bible said that the Bible cannot lie. If a kingdom divides against itself, it must go down. Amen. So pray for the unity of the body of Christ. By this I mean not just this church, Amen. but the apostolic church because of different names and, 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 and of denomination, triumphant, apostolic, um, um, open door, um, Bethel, and everybody believes that because they are that, that's it. It's not, it's divided. We need to tear down these barriers. Shiloh. And worship God. We are one in Christ Jesus. United Pentecostal Church. United, united. So let's pray, sin of God. Let's first believe and pray that God will unite his own body. Because only Christ in us, the hope of glory. Christ in us, the only hope of glory we have. Individual. It's, we, cannot, we cannot be selfish now when we go before God. You know, many times you go before God now, don't even tell him nothing about you. Amen. Just forget about you. And just, just send it out. Amen. Sometimes we're too selfish. Yes. More and more, say this. So let us, saints of God, um, let us not be overcharged with ups and downs of this life. But at the same time, let us make sure that we align ourselves with the word of God. Because guess what? If there's a sound from heaven right now, all of these things will still be going on. Amen. And if God takes another 10 years, all of these things will still be going on Amen. during the time when we are preparing ourselves. Amen. Right? So let us save ourselves and try to save others. God bless you in Jesus' name. We're going on. It is like a river attended by way
the victory oh, yes, in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. We lift you yes, this morning. Yes, yes. We adore yes, you this morning. Yes, yes. We worship yes, yes. you this morning yes, yes. in the name yes, yes. of Jesus. Oh, yes. Reign among the people in oh, the name yes. of Jesus. We give you oh, honor yes. and glory. Oh, yeah. Holy Holiness unto the Lord. We bless your Holiness name. Holiness unto the Lord. We bless your name. Holiness unto the Lord. Holiness unto our God. You the tag. Hallelujah. We give you praise this morning. Yes. Oh, God. We thank you. Yes. We thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Jesus. Yes. Holiness unto our God. God. Mighty God. Yes. Spirit Holiness of the living God. God. Oh God, In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Call afresh this time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Save it. 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 Yes, he's here. He's here. We thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, what a mighty God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are king of fire and Judas. Let righteousness reign, let holiness reign, let yes, peace reign, Jesus, reign, reign among us, reign God reign among us, let unity reign in the name of Jesus, let truth reign, let hallelujah, let the Holy Ghost reign, spirit of the living God reign among us, Jesus, hallelujah, yeah, glory to God. In the name of Jesus, spirit of a living God, take center stage. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the fully spirit of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest remain and abide with us all, both now and forever. Amen. God bless you. Praise Amen. God. God bless you. You are dismissed the fear and in the presence of the Lord. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Just say the victory in the deliverance. Amen. And go in Jesus' name. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God.